Welcome to the Kronos Interactive Training Simulator for managing and approving your time cards. My name is Julie and I will be your instructor for today. This is the cycle of workweek time. The employee badges. The supervisor manages time. The manager approves time. The time passes to payroll. Payroll turns time into money. Outside the simulator, you can access the Kronos timekeeping system from any system that has internet access. You do not need your work computer to do so. You simply enter this special integrated web address, provided by Kronos. Hit the enter key on your keyboard and you will be taken to the following screen. OK, are you ready to go to work? Let's log into the system. To log into the system, use your mouse and click on the user box now. In real life you will have your own username. For training you are Ashley Wilkes. So for today your username is A. Wilkes. After entering the username press your enter key. It is now time to enter the password. Click once on the password box. The default password is password. Enter this in the password box now. When complete select and hit the enter key. The first time you log in. The system will prompt you to customize your password. The first step is to click on the old password box and enter password. When you have completed this step hit the enter key on your keyboard. Step 2, click one of the new password box. In the new password box type 12 oaks. When complete hit the enter key to continue. Step 3 is to verify your new password. Click once on the verify password box. In the verify password box type. 12 oaks. When complete hit the enter key to continue. Last step at the top right corner of the screen click on change password now. As the page data loads your carousel of workspaces will appear in the upper right corner. Click once on the down arrow in order to see available workspaces. Click on the right arrow to turn the pages of the carousel. Turn to the next page, timekeeping. Click once on the word timekeeping. The default screen is exceptions with a listing of your associates. In the upper left corner is the pay period box. Click once on the down arrow. From the drop down menu select previous pay period. Double click on the first associate Scarlett O'Hara. Click once on the view time card tab. On Scarlett's time card you will notice that all of her days have red borders. This is because Scarlett has a schedule for these days but no clock times. To see Scarlett's schedule click once on the three little dots in the middle of the screen. This will enlarge the lower part of the screen. On the lower right side you can now see Scarlett's schedule for the week. To reduce the lower half of the screen and take you back to the time card double click on the small square box in the upper right hand corner of the workspace. Enter the clock time of 6A. Then move over and click once on the out box. Enter the clock out time of 430p. When done entering the clock time hit your enter key. Notice that the system automatically changed the clock times to the appropriate format and the word time card is now orange. This tells you that there are changes to the time card that have not been saved. Let's enter Tuesday clock times for Scarlet. Click once on the in time box for Tuesday. Enter a Tuesday in time of 6A. When done entering the time, move your mouse over and click once on the Tuesday out box. This time we are going to enter the out time in a 24 hour format also known as military time. In the out box enter 1630. When done entering the out time move your mouse over and click once on the Wednesday in box. As you can see the system changed your 1630 entry into 430 pm. In the in box for Wednesday enter 600. On Wednesday Scarlett worked in cells other than her home cell. We need to transfer her time to these other cells. When done entering the in time, move your mouse over and click once on the first Wednesday transfer box. Using your mouse click on the down arrow in the transfer box. Using your mouse clock once on the word search. Search will you to this screen. These are all of the transfer options available to you. Scarlet is only changing work cells. Using your mouse click once on the radio button in front of work cells. Now the box on the left side of the screen will show all available work cells. Scarlet is transferring to paint. Using your mouse, 
right click and hold down your mouse on the down arrow. This will make the listing scroll down until you find paint. Continue clicking on the down arrow so the list will scroll down. Stop when you find paint. Keep going. Continue clicking you are getting closer. Keep going. Almost there. Stop. Click once on paint. You can see that cell 36 has moved to the right side box. If you had selected the incorrect cell you can click on clear account and start over again. Click once on the OK button at the bottom of the screen to take you back to the time card screen. At 10 in the morning Scarlet transfers from paint to belt. Click once on the next Wednesday in box. In the second in box on the Wednesday row enter the time of 10. A. When done entering the in time move your move to the right and click on the down arrow key in the transfer box. You can see that the system is holding history of the cell Scarlet has transferred to. Click on the word search and we are now going to go through the same process we did for her first transfer. Once in the transfer screen click once on the radio button in front of work cells. Then click on the OK button at the bottom of the screen. Once again you see the listing of work cells on the left side of the transfer screen. Since she is transferring to belt we do not have to scroll down the listing. Click once on belt. Then click on the OK button at the bottom on the screen. Once you see that belt has transferred to the right column, you can click on the OK button to return to the time card report screen. Just to make certain that our simulation is realistic, we are going to transfer Scarlet one more time. You will notice that there are no more transfer spaces on the line for Wednesday. So, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to add another line for Wednesday. Keep in mind that even though we are only going to add one more line, you can have as many lines in a day that you want. To add a line, next to the day that you want to add a line, ours being Wednesday, you will see a little symbol with a plus sign and arrow. Click on this symbol one time. Good job! Look at that. You now have another line on Wednesday. At 1p Scarlet transfers to form cell, click once on the first in box of your new line. Enter 1p in the inbox. When complete move your mouse over and click once on the transfer box down arrow. Click once on the word search, to take you to the transfer screen. Once you have selected work cells, click on the down arrow key of the available entries until you find forms. Once you see forms move to the right side box, click on the OK button to continue. We went ahead and transferred Scarlet to her last shift change of the day then entered her out time. As you can see each time you transferred her, just by putting a new in time, it added and out time as well. We are now going to add a bereavement days on Thursday and Friday. Click on the down arrow in the pay code section. Select bereavement from the drop down menu. Move your mouse to the amount box and click once. Enter 8 hours in the amount and hit your enter key to continue. You would repeat the same steps for Friday. When you have completed your edits click on the save button. If you should need to delete a row of information, that has been saved. Click once on the Xbox next to that line. Click on the Friday Xbox now, you will receive a confirmation box. Click on yes to delete the row of information. To see a summary of the associates pay information select the down arrow key on the reports tab. This is the associates time detail report for you to review, prior to approving. This is exactly how the associate will be paid. Click on the red X in the upper right hand corner to close the report. When done with this associate's corrections, click on the left arrow on the left side of the screen to return to the listing of associate exceptions. Whenever you modify a time card it is always good to add a comment or note. This way you will remember later, when asked why the change was made, or if you just want to create a history that you can run a report on later. To do this, while in the time box click on the comment tab. Click once on add note. You will get this drop down box of pre-listed comments, plus you can add additional notes at the bottom. For now we are just going to select fail to clock, just click on that selection. We added an additional note for you. To do this yourself simply click on the note box and you are able to type whatever text you like. To finish, click on the OK box now. The system will automatically take a 30 minute lunch break out of the associates time after they have worked for 5 hours. There will be times when you will want to override this and add it back. 
To do this, first select a clock time on the day that you want to change. Click on the punch tab and select edit. You will get this information box. Go down to cancel deduction and click on the down arrow. Select 30 minute auto lunch deduct. Click on the OK button at the bottom of the edit box. You can now see that the hours have changed from 10 to 10.30. You are done editing this time card and ready to return to your employee listing. Click on the arrow to the left of the exceptions detail. In the real world you would of course go through, edit and review all of the time cards. We are just going to say you have already done all of that and, now it is time to approve your time cards. You must approve your time cards or the associates will not be paid. To approve time cards, return to the timekeeping screen. On the right hand side of the screen you will find your file cabinet. You want to find the drawer that is named approved time cards. To see the names hover your mouse over the drawers. Good job! You had found it. Now click once on the drawer to open the approval screen. You approve time cards by highlighting the associate's name. Select Scarlett O'Hara by clicking once on her name. Click on the down arrow next to approvals and select approve. Click on the yes button. Clicking on the refresh button will make your approval appear on the screen. When you see the number one it means the time card has been approved. Once you approve, no further changes can be made to the time card. In the event you need to make a change you would go through the same process as approve, but select remove approval. Anytime the approval does or does not appear, click the refresh button at the top of the screen, next to time period. You can approve all of your associates at once by highlighting the first name, hold the control key on your keyboard down and continue selecting until all the associates names are highlighted. Click on the approval tab, select approve, then click on refresh. The same would apply to unapprove, in the event you need to unapprove all. Click on the down arrow next to approvals and select approve. Select yes. Click on the refresh button. You can now see that your time cards are all approved. Well Mr. Wilkes. I believe you are done for this pay period. Congratulations, you did a wonderful job. Now you should now sign out of the system, using the sign out above. You should use the sign out and not just close down your browser. Please click once on the sign out now. Want to thank you for joining me today. I have enjoyed having you in my class. I hope you find this training class helpful for the editing, managing and approving your time cards. Feel free to come back and join me at any time.